So friends, uh, in this lecture, I will explain you uh, about the maxima and minima for two variable. How we find out maxima and minima for two variable? If you know how we find out maxima and minima for one variable, then it is so much easy because procedure is similar to that. Uh, always, they will give you one function f x y. Always they will give this function. And they ask you to find out the maximum and minimum values. So it's so much easy process, just you have to follow simple steps. Step number one find out del f over del x and del f over del y, which you can find out easily if already given. Differentiate partially with respect to x, differentiate partially with respect to y. So step one, it's easy. Solve. Del f over del x is equal to zero, and del f over del. Y. Hello friends, uh, in this lecture I will explain you uh, about the maxima and minima for two variables. How we find out maxima and minima for two variables. If you know how we find out maxima and minima for one variable, then it is so much easy because procedure is similar to that. Uh, always, they will give you one function f x y. Always they will give this function. And they ask you to find out the maximum and minimum values. So it's so much easy process, just you have to follow simple steps. Step number one find out del f over del x and del f over del y, which you can find out easily if already given. Differentiate partially with respect to x, differentiate partially with respect to y. So step one, it's easy. Solve. Del f over del x is equal to zero, and del f over del y is equal to zero. So when you solve these two equations, del f over del x is equal to zero, and del f over del y is equal to zero. You will get a pair of values of x and y. And we get x1, y1, x2, y2, and so on. Based on order of equation, we get the values. We get points x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. When we solve, we get the points. That point is known as stationary points. Once you know stationary point, you third step. Find out R. What is R? Del square F over del x square. What is S? Del square F del x del y. What is T? Del square F del y square. Easily you can find out the partial differentiation R S T. Once you have R S T, what is your fourth step? Find out R S T value at each x i y means whatever stationary points we got from point number two for each and every find out r s and t values at that point once you get um, if r t minus s square greater than zero some 
at side y a. Suppose for some point we get r t minus s square greater than 0. Then if r greater than 0 at this point then that x i y i is known as minima point and minimum value is f at x i y i similarly if rt minus if, if r less than 0 then that x i y i is a maxima point and maximum value is f at x i y i so when r t minus s square greater than 0 then only we check what happened when r t minus s square less than 0 if this second case this is first if r t minus s square less than 0 then there is no maximum or minimum third case if r t minus s square equal to 0 then needs further investigation so this much all it's so much easy process just you have to find out del f over del x del f over del y equate 0 solve it get the points x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 find out r s t for each and every x i y i once we have checked for which x i y i r t minus s square greater than 0 if r t minus s square greater than 0 for corresponding to some x1 suppose x1 y1 then check what about r r is greater than 0 or less than 0 if it is greater than 0 greater than 0 then that point is minima point and minimum value just that x1 y1 you put in f x y and if r less than 0 then that x i y is maxima point and maximum value we can put we can find out just put x i y here so this is the way uh, how we calculate maxima and minima now we do one question for that question is find extreme values of x power 4 plus y power 4 minus 2x square plus 4xy minus 2y square. We have to find out maximum and minimum values of this function. So what is our first step? Differentiate with respect to x and y parcel. What do we get? What is del f over del x? Differentiate with respect to x. 4x cubed minus 4x plus 4y. What is del f over del y? 4y cubed plus 4x minus 4y. Okay. Now, for maxima and minima 
del of over del x is equal to zero, and del of over del y is equal to zero. So, what is going to be zero? Four x cube minus four x plus four y is equal to zero, and four y cube plus four x minus four y is equal to zero. This is equation number one, and we can say two. So one plus two when you add. Here solution only important. How we solve? So when you add, what do you get? Four x cube plus y cube. Four x four x cancel. Four y four y cancel. Equal to zero. So it's a factorization. A cube plus b cube formula. X plus y. X square plus y square minus x y is equal to zero. So here we get x value minus y. So when x is equal to minus y, from one, what do we get? Y value minus x. Just put four x cube minus four x minus four x is equal to zero. So four cancel uh, minus two x. Is equal to zero. X common. X square minus two is equal to zero. So x value zero root two and minus root two. So what is corresponding y value? Zero because x is minus y. So root two means minus root two and minus root two means plus root two. So points we get. What is the points? So. The points are so is this number. Points are zero zero root two minus root two and minus root two plus root two. These are the points. We have three points. So now we are going to check next. Uh, we are going to calculate R. What is R? R is Del square f, del x square. Differentiate again. So what we get? Del x square minus four. What is s value? Differentiate with respect to y. So what we get? Four. What is t value? Differentiate with respect to y square. Y square means del y square minus four. So now we have R S T. Now we are going to calculate at each point. At zero comma zero, first point. What is R value? Minus four. What is S? Four. What is T? Minus four. So R T minus S square. Zero. This needs further investigation. So, at root two minus root two. What is R value? X value root two. So, root two means two twenty. What is S? So what is t? Twenty. So R T minus S square. Four hundred minus sixteen minus three eighty six. Eighty four. Greater than zero. And R is also greater than zero. R is twenty. Here. R greater than zero. So this point is. Minima point. This is this. What is minimum value? F at root two minus root two. Just calculate the value. Root two means four. 
plus 4 2 means minus 4 minus 4 means minus 8 2 minus 4 plus 4 minus 2 cancel minus 8 not similarly at minus root 2 plus root 2 